Zero, zero, one. Record. Messages. No, clock. Count. Clock. 5.28 p.m. Well, it's now 5.30 p.m. Um, 5.29 p.m. I was going to have roast for dinner tonight, but I've been busy trying to get sorted with a new language learning app because Duolingo... <sighs> has gone extremely dodgy. Mm. Just gonna close up my unit for the night. Everyone is yelling and screaming because no one ever wants to be happy around here. Nobody ever wants to seem to be happy around here. 5.30 p.m. Mm. What a load of rubbish. Notes. What a load of rubbish. Getting cold out there too. I wanted to cook roast for dinner tonight, but I'm tired. And I had to delete my Duolingo account because it's no longer working for me. I'm no longer learning the way I used to learn on it because they've made it really stupid and <sighs> it's distracting because it's all like visual stuff that voiceover has a hard time with. Oh, I'm so full after this afternoon. I ate a huge amount of food. I had a massive plate of fish and rice today. I ate a massive amount of stuff. So, oh, I don't think I'm that hungry tonight. Oh, I'm not that hungry at all. So, I'm checking out a new app because I erased my Duolingo account and I'm just waiting for it to be fully deleted. And now that I'm still full after this afternoon's very big feed, I no longer want to cook like I thought. I don't want to cook. Uh. Oh, that's okay. I'll just have a couple of... Um, Oh shit, hang on. I'll just have a couple of sweets because I know I'm way too full to even <sighs> to eat much. I gave myself a huge serving of food this afternoon. <laughs> so basically I'm not going back to Duolingo. I even cancelled my subscription. And, um... I... am testing out this other app called LingQ. Link. I can't say it will work any better because if it doesn't, I won't be signing up to a subscription, that's for sure. If it does work, I will go premium, but I'm not counting on it.
I guess the good thing is, I now have more time for YouTube, and Netflix, and books. Which is good. And if anyone likes Costco, please buy these little tartlets they are absolutely beautiful mm. Mm. <laughs> there's different flavors and they just taste plain yum beautiful And I overestimated how hungry I'd be because I ate a massive feed. I was going to cook tonight, but I'm still full. I'm just not even hungry. And I'm so tired that I fear I'll make a mistake and hurt myself somehow, you know, by... Stuffing up and realising when I go, oh, fuck, what just happened? And I sort of don't want that. So, I shall cook roast tomorrow as all my food that I wanted to cook today is ready for the next two days so tomorrow and the next day the latest <sighs> and I've packed another two containers of food in the freezer So I really can't see myself needing to buy much food on Tuesday. So this leaves me just to bring home some bread and some milk, which is good. I can just get a taxi home. And on Wednesday, I'm having fish and chips out and some pancakes as well. And I'm going to class tomorrow night and Wednesday night. Oh, well, bring on the exhaustion because it's going to be crazy. Don't worry, guys. I have stack loads of, um, not potassium. God, Sustagen and Gatorade. I don't know why I said potassium, but... <laughs> so, bring on tomorrow. <laughs> and Wednesday. <laughs> and I'm going to be reading, since I will not be doing as much language learning on a daily basis... <laughs> Because I won't be using Link as often as I had used Duolingo. <coughs> I will be reading a lot more. Which is actually good for me because I really enjoy my books. But 
I thought I was setting myself up for success with Duolingo by having a break from books and just studying languages, but clearly that's not going to happen because Duolingo has deleted the forums and they have deleted their previous update, which was working great. The new update is for sighted users. If you're blind or vision impaired, forget it. They have completely eliminated the VI community. Some people may have good enough sight to use it. Great. I can't use it. Um, the other thing I hate is you can't go back to old lessons and that is horrible. How am I going to revise something and remember something if I can't go to an older lesson and practice it? You know, so now I'm not using Duolingo anymore. Um, and with... Link Q or uh, Link because it's L I N G Q. So with Link, you don't have to go on there every day just to, you know, stay logged in. You can just go on when you want. And there's no scoreboards and no competition, so you're learning at your own pace and you're not learning against other play players. You're not learning against other players trying to be better than other people and all this other stuff. You're just learning for you to learn. So at least that's a plus. I will not be getting a subscription. I don't need a subscription. I really don't need the premium. It's like 19 bucks a month and to me that is a rip-off. You know, I don't need, I don't need to pay that much money for a language course that is really just going to teach me a few words and not much else. You know, it's bullshit in my opinion. So, yeah, I'm not impressed with having to pay money for something that's really going to give you only limited access to any language. Okay, it's got a whole list of senators and all that, but it's still not a replacement for, you know, it's still not going to replace face-to-face -face interaction with people. So, yeah, 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 is all I can say about that. say this app has made me very disappointed uh, with Duolingo app and I will say any app that tries to go oh we're all about teaching everyone all about a language it's like well that's a lie because apps don't teach you all about a language they just give you the basics so that when you talk to a native speaker they then go on to teach you all about what they know about their language that's how it works and is how it works
One drink of chili. Yep. And yeah, I keep telling my doctors, of course I keep on. Of course I keep braille labels on my pill bottles so that I don't forget which ones they are. course I keep braille label on everything you know I'm not that silly I am not messenger notes silly page two of three page two link total fusion twitter one new item my t-studio recorder hq recorder hq 50 step ipad minus pause stop pause button minus four pause minus ipad microphone I'm back I just had to brush my teeth and Get ready for bed. I just can't believe that I dove into so much bloody food today. I ate so much. I'm still trying to digest it all. <laughs> oh, I'm still trying to digest it. <coughs> oh. Still trying to digest the bloody thing. thought I haven't taken a magnesium tablet for a few nights now I'll take one tonight and not bother taking one tomorrow night to see how I go and so forth and so on because I think everyone's body metabolates uh, metabolizes the same medication slightly differently some people faster than others and some people need more of it than other people you know and it's like oh god I don't know, but someone else on here does what works for them and I am doing what works for me. Otherwise, I go a bit seedy, a bit kind of sick. You know, I feel okay and then I wake up going, what the heck happened last night? So it has to be something like, what the heck? And I found out, you know, you can have too much magnesium and it's like, lucky I only just take the one because I don't want to make myself feel yucky. You know, like having too much of something and I feel like my body's all slow and all, you know. But if I don't have... I guess too much magnesium for me then it's fine but that's because that's my metabolism in my body I suppose and I just have to work with what I can tolerate full stop that is how it is and yet every day I've been able to take two vitamin C tablets and the doctor is worried about me not tolerating that too because you can get stomach upset and sometimes a peptic ulcer unfortunately and no that hasn't happened yet so we haven't changed the vitamin c and we haven't changed the mega b complex and we haven't changed well next thursday i'm going to see how i go with not taking vitamin d just to see what happens for uh, you got to give it like a week or lo or longer so a week or more just to see see what it does 
And if there's a difference that I'm not happy with, then I'll go back on it. If I am happy with not taking it, then I'll just not keep taking it. I guess I'll find out. Because I tried going off vitamin D oh, about for a month ago and it didn't work out well. But I want to see if getting more sunlight makes any difference to me or not. If it doesn't make a difference, then I have to go back on vitamin D. Full stop. So that is just, unfortunately, pal, that is just how life works. You can't change it. You can make changes in your actual life, but you can't change what you want. A red and gray record player. Speech off. You can't physically force life to change into what you want. You just have to manage what you've, and change what you've, you have to manage what you've got and make changes with what you've already got. It's like having a computer or, say, a car. People understand cars. They understand that if they want something fixed, they've got to go to the mechanic. And if they want to change something, there's things you have to live with and you just manage the car. Well, people's bodies are the same um, as looking after a car. You deal with what you got and then you make changes where you can. It's like that when you drive a car. So, just think of it like that. But I dare say my dinner was so good today. I had a massive serving. I usually eat until I'm full and go, yeah, that's enough. I'll just chuck this in the bin or I'll put this in a container and eat it for dinner. No. I ate the entire plate of food and my stomach felt like it was about to bust. I felt like I was going to spew up. I felt really... I accidentally... (sighs) I accidentally over... um, I accidentally overfed myself to the point of hurting my stomach. Like, I didn't mean to just deliberately do it, just intentionally for no good reason... I just simply wasn't aware of, hey, my stomach is distended now and I need to stop eating. No, I'm just like, nom, 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 till the plate was gone. I'm like, oh, I think I ate too much, but it was bloody nice. And I'm going, nom, 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 Guys, that fried snapper with mixed veggies and rice was absolutely fucking beautiful. It was like 10 stars. If I could give it more than five stars, I would. (laughs) Basically, it was so good. It was so fucking nice. It was so fucking delicious. It was just unbelievable. Yeah, there was a couple of bones in the fish, but I can pick the bones out. When I'm chewing my fish, I get the bones between my teeth and then I go and, you know, you know, pull it, sort of go as I'm pulling it out with my um, fingertips and go, you know, to help me, like, not, I guess, swallow it back into my throat and choke on it. And it works. So, hey, um, it's a good sign that I'm enjoying my fish. And, yeah. I wonder if Blind Music Mum has made a recording update yet. I don't, I don't say she has. Let's have a look. No. Oh dear. Hmm. Um. Oh, 
side note, the Blind Music Mum has not um, made an update yet. I hope she's doing okay. Um, hmm. Anyway, there is really not that much to watch on YouTube. So I might as well just fall asleep and wake up whenever I do in the morning. You know, read myself to sleep or just do something um, before I fall asleep. Because after all of the hip hype about the red heifer and all this other shit, it has died down and everyone is just talking normal as though nothing's happened. And it's like, yeah, because everyone knows that nothing's going to come of it, you know. Nothing's going to change in this world for another hundred or so years, you know. And, you know, if something suddenly comes out of the blue to cause a cataclysmic apocalypse style, earth-rattling, life-changing event, yeah, I'll be one of the first people to find out and tell someone. But until then, I just take everything I read on YouTube like a pinch of salt because mm, it just seems all a bit mm, weird to me. Mm. People are talking about the world as though, about the end of the world as though it's going to end tomorrow just so they can get more views. Like, seriously, why not talk about something normal and something nice and something realistic, you know, reality-based? Because the world ending tomorrow is not very reality-based. It's... May end one day, but it's not going to end literally, you know, next week. I mean, yeah. Just, uh, you know. Oh. Um, and I didn't get my refund back. Stupid bitch who I wasn't happy with at this other program. <coughs> decided that she was going to keep the money instead of giving it back to me. Stupid bitch. I was thinking of just not giving her the member card back. It's like I pay for it and then when I give it back, I don't get my money back. Mm, that's a bit of a, to me, that's a scam. You know, if I'm enjoying the classes and I stop my membership, then that's fine. That's absolutely fine. I can stop a membership and then be done with it and nothing's wrong. But if I'm not happy with someone and they don't offer a refund because I'm not satisfied, then they just show me that they're a scam. They are an absolute scam. And the other thing that this bitch isn't doing, she isn't recognising that she has treated me with discrimination. She really has. She hasn't given me access to all the equipment. You know, other people were going upstairs using the machinery, but apparently, according to her, discriminative, dis discriminatory judgment apparently I didn't need to go upstairs well why was I not allowed to access all the equipment while everyone else was allowed hmm. yeah I'm not very happy hmm. I am not happy 
and I didn't get my money back and I do want my money back because I really didn't mean to sign up to a dodgy training program. And now that I've joined a new training program which isn't doing anything wrong, I won't need to to um demand a refund because when people are doing the right thing, I don't need a refund from them. I'm just getting rid of some really crappy YouTube <coughs> recommendations for the minute. so many rubbish channels that I won't be watching ever and they put it all on the home page of recommendations <clears throat> mm, I don't know what to do about that paranormal oh no I'm not gonna not gonna listen to that shit that's all fake crap rubbish You won't believe what China is doing in Ghana. Yeah, because I don't. I think it's all a load of crap as well. Hmm. The amount of videos people put up to get more attention and more views and all this bullshit. You know, can't people think of something better to do in their life than put up a fucking crappy video? So, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. It was $105, and for me, you know, that's just a pay for the membership card and the admin fees. And then when it got closed down, I'm surprised that no one was even considering giving me the money back. Oh, well, this lady is a stupid bitch and I hope I never, ever, ever face her again. She's just a con and a scam artist. She just wanted to treat me like a fucking baby so she could get more money to give me limited access to a fucking gym. That's all she wanted to do. Fucking scam artist. See, all these places seem really great until you've got a disability and when they, as soon as they know you're blind, they do everything they can to take advantage of you. It happens every fucking time, every fucking where. No matter where you are, when people know you've got a disability, they change and they turn into the most horrible fucking monsters you've ever met any frigging where. And it's, I'm fed up with it. And now I'm fucking glad I took my magnesium tablet tonight because when I'm stressed out, it gets rid of all that, ner that nervousness and stress. 
It makes me heaps fucking more tolerable with myself. Makes me way fucking easy to just, you know, relax and not freak out as much. It's good. Highly, highly satisfied with the fucking product and I will shall never ditch it. Even if I've got to skip it for a week and just take it every so often like yeah I'm just going to keep on buying it forever because it works and all the people that say eat nuts eat this eat that it's like hey I'm not a big fan of eating nuts and peanuts every day of my life I will eat it in peanut butter and I'll eat the odd handful of nuts occasionally, but I'm not going to eat it every day of my life when, you know, I'm more of a fan of other foods that aren't nuts and I can take a bloody magnesium tablet. So it would be different if I was a fan of nuts, I suppose, like I'm a fan of blueberries and watermelon and pumpkin and potato, so I guess I don't need my zinc gummies anymore. You know, if I couldn't eat any of that stuff, I would need to take zinc every day. But because I eat all this other stuff all the time, you know, it means I can't take, you know, zinc tablets every day of the week because it's too much. don't know what the hell that bloody massive mole thing is, but it needs to be gotten rid of. Bloody stupid thing. And then I don't know what I'm going to do with Fruit Pot either, because now that I've played enough of the game, it's just... I don't know, I'm finding it very boring. I'm finding it really boring, because I've played the game so much, and now there's nothing new about the fruit pot game, I'm thinking of just deleting it. I'm thinking of just deleting it. You know, it gets boring after a while. Dear. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oy, 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 oy. <laughs> but yeah, after what Duolingo has done lately, getting rid of the forums and changing how it basically how it controls how we learn a language. You know, it's taken away freedom. It has taken away the ability to choose and control your learning. (sighs) Learning pace and what lessons you want to review and everything. And it's like, "Mm, this is, you know, not good. So I got rid of it. Well, I don't know what else to talk about because I deleted Duolingo because it's crap now. Before they went and changed it, 
I used to be able to do the Japanese lessons easily. They were so easy. And there was nothing visual. And it was fully voiceover compatible. And now it's just completely fucked. You like you can't do anything. So now I've just totally like fucked Duolingo off. Because it's just, you know, no good. You know, I I don't want to use an app that teaches people jack squat, wastes people's money and time, and then when you get rid of your subscription, you won't get a refund for that for that either. You just you just waste your money. So yeah, I'm not wasting any more of my money on Duolingo. Not going to do that at all. Not in my plans at all. (sighs) I am just getting rid of some persistent and very annoying videos that YouTube is trying to say, hey, you haven't watched that yet, you haven't, and and there'll be videos that I've already viewed, but YouTube thinks I want to re-watch. I'm like, excuse me, YouTube, if I wanted to re-watch something, I would re-watch it in my own time, not when you tell me to, thanks, YouTube, bloody bitch. So... I'm getting rid of videos that seem to sit up on my YouTube recommendations for days without going away. And they come back over and over and I'm like, go away. So then I have to click on don't recommend channel. Oh God, 104 year old tortoise. Why would anybody watch that for? That is shit. Hmm. Do we really need a YouTube video showing how old a fucking tortoise is, you know? Yeah, they get very old, but who gives a shit? I used to absolutely love Duolingo, and now they've just totally, you know... Totally fucking gum ruined. The learning opportunities that they've created by totally buggering up the app. Yep, I absolutely hate breaking news. I don't want to hear it. I don't give a shit about breaking news. Oh, so all the time that I filled in learning languages, I'm probably going to end up reading all my books now, which is a good thing. (sighs) It is a good thing. And it is still fucking cold at night, so I've got to turn the heater on to like 24 degrees. It's too fucking cold outside. Too fucking cold. And I don't know why people are bullshitting on King Charles III. He's now the King of England and the religious community is bullshitting him, trying to run him to the ground for whatever reason because he happens to be king and they want to be in, you know... All these religious people want to take the place of King Charles and that's never going to happen. If they don't like it, they can go and live under a rock. Because religion's not going to change the fact that King Charles is now king.
getting rid of some bloody shitty channels here. Really crappy ones. Very rubbish channels. And then I'm going to have a look up something new, like, um, I don't know, because YouTube is now extremely boring. YouTube is extremely boring. <laughs> After all that excitement from last week, all of a sudden everyone has gone quiet, as silent as the bloody dead in a cemetery, because all of a sudden, oh, the fear mongering is over. What else do we talk about? Maybe we have to go quiet because there is literally nothing to talk about because all of our doomsday high watch prophetic days, scaremongering tactics have come to nothing. We can't say anything. Well, it would help if people would talk about something, I don't know, realistic perhaps instead of making shit up in their minds and then going wait nothing has come of any of this and there's literally nothing we can talk about my god oh there's nothing new to even put on um to search for on youtube it's all just bullshit now it's all crap i don't know what to do I guess that means I get to finish this recording and just listen to a couple of videos that I wanted to listen to, then go back to my Watch Later playlist and go through those videos and take a bit of a listen to what, you know, I wanted to catch up on because there are no new interesting videos. So... I just have to go back through old ones that I saved weeks ago, listen to them just to enjoy being very fucking bored and entertained at the same time. Because tomorrow night and on Wednesday night, I have got some strenuous exercising to do. Yay! And because I'm planning on just deleting Link Q, Link, Link. Okay, it's interesting, but I'm not really going to get anything out of it. So I'll just delete it and find something that I can enjoy mucking around with all day and all night. Um, I'm sure I'll find something and then I'll play on it, you know, play at that game for years until somebody fucks it up and then I'll go, I like this app this game, this situation, this person, this whoever, and then they fucked up and now I hate it or them, you know, whatever it is. Of course it has to be the way. Not only do all, th all good things come to an end, but all good things must be bloody ruined too. <sighs> you know what, if it isn't fixed, if it isn't if it isn't broken, don't fix it. You don't have to ruin what isn't already broken. And I don't know what's wrong with Duolingo. They're getting, they're turning a completely awesome system into a really crappy, horrible experience that people learn less from. <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah, oh, I'm definitely not using it anymore. No way. Just not going to do it. With that said, I am out of here. I will upload this video and, uh, yeah, I'll be back at some point this week because I don't know if I'll be on tomorrow or not. But I will be back at some point when I have something decent to talk about or if I have another you know another rant 
about the religious bandwagon that people jump on. Oh God, please save me from a world that is not even about to end for the next, what, ten centuries or something. (sighs) Like, come on, seriously. Anyway, I'll go into another rant another day, but tonight I just want to relax and I'll be back again soon. And Blind Music Mum, I hope you're doing okay.